Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of Pokemon news to go over. A new Pokemon Legends Arceus update went live today. We also have a new Pokemon Sword and Shield Raid Den event and as well as that we have some more Pokemon Violet and Scarlet stuff to go over as well. So plenty of new information to take a look at today. So if you're excited for the video as always make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try it at 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on any anything we cover in today's video subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at this new update patch for pokemon legends arceus so this came out of nowhere it was completely shadow dropped there was no hint towards it there was no previous information about it um i actually follow a twitter page that talks about like nintendo games getting maintenance and that's usually a good uh, justification whether a game is going to get an update or not. And there was nothing about it on that page either. So yeah, this just completely came out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, it's not a massive update. As you can see, version 1.1.1 released March 17th, 2022. It actually came out last night, I think. But um, really, really early hours of today uh, for most people. But yeah, update details. So fixed an issue where certain conditions would, pre would prevent players from obtaining the shiny charm even if they met the requirements i didn't even know this was a thing the only like bug that i heard of in this game was the whole cresselia bug where you couldn't get the plate for it in the post game if you didn't talk to uh the person first um but obviously that got patched in the last update didn't even know there was a problem obtaining the shiny charm i've not heard anybody having a problem obtaining the shiny charm they then went on to say after updating the game players who experienced this issue can obtain the shiny charm by speaking with Professor Laventon inside Galaxy Hall in Jubilife Village, provided they meet the requirements. So obviously to get the shiny charm in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you have to have got completed information on every single Pokemon. Not perfect information, just completed. So like the little Pokeball pops up um, on the Pokedex page for that Pokemon. So yeah, that's all the update really is. Again, there's probably like minor bug fixes as well and more pleasant gameplay stuff. They usually drop those in these kind of updates. But yeah, nothing about Pokemon Home. Uh, nothing about any potential future DLC. Obviously with new updates, they usually get data mined as well to see if there's any more information in there. Um, but yeah, this wasn't a massive update at all. Like I said, there was no hints prior to this dropping. So it's not big at all. But um, yeah, if you are experiencing any kind of issues getting the shiny charm previously, that is now fixed and you can get yourself a shiny charm, which is super broken in this game, by the way. It generally helps so much uh, when looking for shiny Pokemon, shiny alphas and stuff like that. But yeah, that is the new update for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Next up, we have a new raid event for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Um, so this is a new fossil-themed max raid event. Uh, it's live in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It was tweeted out by PLDH and they said, this time allowing players to encounter shiny Tyrantrum. So you can get a shiny Tyrantrum from the new raid events um, from five star raids in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So the spawns are Caracosta, Archeops, Tyrantrum and Aurora's families. So obviously all the, the first stage Pokemon and their evolutions and shiny Tantrum, uh, Tantrum, Tyrantrum is in five star raids. The event ends on the 27th of March at 4.59 p.m. PT. So yeah, Shiny Tarantrum, really, really cool Shiny Pokemon. You can now um, try and get this from 5-star raids. I'm not sure what the odds are, but either way, it's a nice little thing that you can do. And again, you've got like over a week to um, try and get this Shiny Pokemon. Uh, is this for a certain holiday? Um, probably to align with the opening of the Pokemon Fossil Museum exhibit of the National Museum of Nature and Science in Tokyo. So yeah, this has kind of been like a thing for a while now um, that they've been like talking about, but uh, I guess it's now opening. It looks so, so cool though. I would love to visit somewhere like that. They've got like loads of like skeletons and stuff of the fossil Pokemon. Uh, like we have uh, Tyrant there and stuff. We have Lilip. Uh, we have like the, the fossils there that they're actually um, from. Kabutops, the bones of it. Like honestly, this place looks insane. Like the, the, the statues and stuff and the the exhibits look really really cool look how big they are as well man it looks so so cool so yeah jealous of everyone that gets to uh, go there the next thing we're going to be talking about though is pokemon scarlet and violet and it's more about this um kind of potential fue coco evolution that i went over in yesterday's video um but yeah soul silver art basically made this thread tweeted out saying now that it seems the idea for pokemon scarlet and violet's iberia region was in place after generation 7 I honestly believe it could have been originally uh, planned for Gen 8 until it was shelved. With that in mind, older rumors slash theories may have relevance again. So armor gimmicks come to mind 
um, but also all its as well. So yeah, obviously with Pokemon Sword and Shield, there's a lot of talk about like armor evolution and everything. There's a lot of rumors and hints towards that new form of evolution. So potentially that could be coming back if it was ever true in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So uh, this was a Twitter post from Eduardo. So now this is a really, really long thread uh, that they go on talk about like loads and loads of different stuff. I might cover this one day, um, but there is so much stuff in this thread. It's crazy. But anyway, um, I think the main mechanic could be related to aura and spiritual armor in some way. So this is, I guess, just like loads of different YouTube videos backing up this claim. Uh, but yeah, here we have all the different like kind of layers and everything. So you got the Catharic template, the celestial layer, uh, which is obviously a spiritual body uh, and then you have the astral layer the mental layer and stuff so potentially it could be something to do with that you know um this this new gimmick in pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet and then as well as that we obviously have this that we went over uh in yesterday's video so things like this even if this isn't a Fue Coco evolution, it could very well be a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Dragon. Really great find uh, by Blaze. So again, this is potentially the third evolution of Fue Coco. Uh, I mean, potentially it is. I mean, it's unlikely, but um, it could even just be a new Pokemon. Um, but as well as that, I mean, again, this is just, I guess, clutching at straws. But I feel like it's a little bit too much of a coincidence um to to just be like a random silhouette thing so yeah update to this according to Cerebi, apparently the episode that this image is from is episode 999 the japanese number of the sun and moon anime so gen 9 the episode anime number is 999 you know it has this potential for way coco evolution I, I don't know. It's one of those things, man. It's like, it could just be a massive coincidence. Or they could just be planning these things for like years and years in advance. But um, yeah, the fact that it's um, number 999 is a bit interesting. And then they also go on to say Dynamax is right in the Galar region. Gen 9 is Spain, also right. Regions in the US, Paris, Hawaii, and the UK have been known to exist since 1997. What I find strange, however, is that Hawaii came before the UK. This is probably due to Pokemon Go, as Go is Australia. Their story is too difficult to explain. I simply need an explanation. Yeah, it's very in-depth. Uh, Game Freak is going to uh, going in the intended order. There was no delay in anything. Stat boosting and auras are a more likely mechanic. See some of the tweets I um, added onto the later thread. So that's what Eduardo is obviously talking about, um, this kind of tweet here. But again, that could be something. I don't know. I just think this is quite funny. That it's got this silhouette mon and it's episode 999. Uh, next up, we're going to finish off by talking about this. So this was posted 17 days ago. I'm only just getting around to it now by Paul. Pokemon Brain Rot, and they posted evidence supporting Pokemon Legends Arceus catching mechanics in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So obviously this would be really, really cool to see in the game. Um, it is a, a new evolution of Pokemon catching in Legends Arceus. Really, really cool um, situation, really cool idea. And they say everyone seems to be fixated on the line on the official website that implies normal catching mechanics uh, will be the only option in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. You'll be able to experience the true joy of the Pokemon series battling against wild Pokemon in order to catch them. Now in an open world game that players of any age can enjoy. Obviously this sounds disappointing when you consider how easy and seamless it was to capture Pokemon in Legends Arceus. However, I think if there is a small detail people are overlooking that may suggest capture mechanics are more similar in Legends, uh, two legends should I say we can see patches of tall grass in the screenshots of Pokemon in the open environment Tall grass was used to preserve traditional random encounters in Pokemon Sword and Shield But in Legends Arceus they are used to hide and sneak up on wild Pokemon I can't imagine that we will have random encounters again in this screenshot with Psyduck We also see that they are spread out like in Legends So yeah, they're basically referring to like this grass here So obviously in Pokemon Legends Arceus you use this grass to like hide from Pokemon so you can sneak up on them and catch them and stuff like that and uh, I, I, I kind of understand where they're coming from, to be fair. They do have a point. It does look similar to the Legends Arceus stuff. They are kind of like branched out as well like they are in Pokemon Legends Arceus. You know, we've got Psyduck over here, then we've got Psyduck over here. You could easily see the protagonist just hiding here and catching them and stuff. So, so considering how much of this game is already based on Legends, I think it is safe to say that these patches of grass, are at the very least, will be used for sneaking around overworld Pokemon encounters. They could hint at Legends Arceus capturing mechanics. Alternatively, I can see a sneak up mechanic being there, but you're only able to throw out your own Pokemon to surprise the wild one and start the battle with an advantage. Again, like in Legends, but there would be no actual instant capturing. What do you guys think? I love classic JRPG uh, stuff, so I think uh, so. I don't mind traditional capturing, but it would be annoying for most people. If we expect more classic Pokemon, this would also make sense since the catch rates in Legends are all whack and having normal battles would be a thing. Uh, would be bringing them back to what they were. I think this is much more likely having this sneak up mechanic where if you um, throw your Pokemon at the uh, the wild Pokemon or whatever, you get like, I don't know, um, some sort of booster or you always get to attack first or something like that. 
Um, but the fact that the game is open world, I, I really hope that they do just kind of bring all the Legends Arceus stuff where it's just like not any cutscenes, you know, it's no, it's no like battle transitions or anything like that. It's just constantly quick fire because open world, you just constantly want to be exploring and stuff and catching stuff. That's why Legends Arceus is so successful. Um, so yeah, whether this is like tall grass that could potentially be for hiding in, whether that is a new mechanic or whether it is just for catching Pokemon like in Legends Arceus, we're not too sure. But either way, uh, I do like this theory. And uh, I mean, it holds some ground as well. Like potentially could be Legends Arceus catching mechanics. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.